on this week's GTA 5 o'clock. PlayStation 4 GTA 5 bundles revealed what's happening with GTA San Andreas on PS3 and Xbox 360, and a look ahead to GTA 5 at the Golden Joystick Awards. It's all here on this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Hello and welcome along to this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Yes, it's Wednesday, it's 5pm-ish, probably. <laughs> and I am your host, James Jarvis. And joining me this week is Mr Trophy, Ian Wilson. Hello. Once again, standing in for Dan. Yes. Uh, he again has gone missing. Uh, but don't <laughs> worry, he is still around. Uh, he's just locked himself in a way, locks himself in rooms these yeah, days. So, yeah. so we can't find him. Uh, so yes, this is the multi-award nominated yes. uh, GTA 5 o'clock <laughs> show. We went to the awards last week. Um, as you probably would have seen from our non-tweeting, we did not win. Um, but it's great to have you all on board. Thank you for your support over the years. It has, it has been, been years, years now, literally yeah, years. Um, so thank you for that. And we've got some news to talk about this yes. week. We have got um, news about San Andreas that we'll talk about in a moment and a couple of more award shows that are coming up later this week. But first, let's jump straight in to the, the potential reveal of PS4 GTA 5 bundles which are on the way. Ian, this came from a French website, <laughs> I think. We, we indeed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we. Yeah. Um, and they basically have revealed that rumour has it that Sony... We know they've got strong partnerships with Rockstar yeah. and with GTA 5. So it looks like there's going to be a PlayStation 4 Jet Black or Glacier White bundle coming on November the 18th, just in time for Christmas. Yes. Uh, this comes with a colour of the console, black or white, and a copy of GTA 5. Nothing more apart from that, but yeah. obviously you'll get the standard controller yeah, and, all, and the all the other stuff. stuff. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So if you haven't got a PS4 yet or you're thinking about getting someone one for Christmas and they haven't played GTA 5 yet, I don't know why that would have happened, <laughs> but if they haven't played GTA 5 yet, that looks like a great bundle to go yeah, out and definitely. get. Talking of GTA, yes. GTA San Andreas. Yes. Uh, what a segue there. That was beautiful. Thanks very much. <laughs> uh, Ten years ago this month oh. was uh, GTA San Andreas on PlayStation 2 uh, when we met CJ and Big Smoke and the rest of the Grove Street families. Um, and it looks like GTA San Andreas could be coming to Xbox 360 yeah. and possibly PlayStation 3. Quite possibly, yeah. Yeah, it's um, there's a achievements, Xbox 360 achievements list has just surfaced, um, which basically claims to be obviously the, the achievements from presumably some sort of remastered version or at least up to 360 to mm -hmm. include achievements on it um, and people have spotted that uh, the, ex the existing Xbox classic version of San Andreas has now been taken off the Xbox marketplace um, I did a quick bit of research myself before we recorded this and it has been taken down the PlayStation 2 classic has right. also been taken down from the PSN so it does look like that possibly adds weight Mm -hmm. to, to this list that's appeared. That, something um, could be something happening. Something could be in the works, yeah. That's part of the, the 10th anniversary Indeed. that we will get. I don't know if there'll be remastered versions, but there'll yeah, definitely just, be... Yeah, maybe just re just a re-release. I mean, I say there, there, there already is, well, there like, was at least yeah. an existing version. Like it already exists, yeah. but this might add in achievements be, and trophies. Yeah, they might have tweaked it just to do that. Which would be nice, give you an excuse to go back and play it again. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, investigate some more of the, the jetpack. <laughs> yeah, uh, the actual jetpack. The yeah. real jetpack, yeah. yeah. You can go and actually play on a jetpack in jet, that one. Jetpack Origins, yeah. Yeah, so that would be good. And as if to, as if by magic, um, Rockstar have also released um, a Throwback Thursday sort of approved, yes. player-approved GTA Online mm, uh, jobs. Yeah. That's what they're exactly. called. Yeah, yeah. Jobs, jobs, GTA yeah. Online jobs. Uh, as part of the 10-year anniversary, they have released... A load of uh, five on each, I think. Five on PS3 and five on Xbox That's 360. Right, yeah. All of which have been created using the creator tool and they have been shared below. Ian, you've been playing a couple of them on PS3. I have, yes. How do they play? Uh, good, yeah, pretty good. The um, Yeah, I'd say obviously the I, I went through the, the five PS3 mm -hmm. uh, jobs that they had on there. Um, there's a few sort of bike races. There's, um, there's actually only one non race event that's a kind of uh, team deathmatch down at um, uh, it's called uh, uh, Grove, Grove Sweet Grove nice and um, by Captain Fredo yeah. 1 yeah Captain indeed that guy yeah 
He's um, so yeah. So that's um, set in the sort of Grove Street um, close, mm -hmm. as it were, yeah. which is obviously plays a large part in San Andreas. Um, and it's yeah, it's quite a contained area. But uh, you start off with an SMG, but there's, there's quite a lot of other weapons tucked around there, and and, and vehicles and uh, things dotted around for you to to grab. So yeah, it's quite quite intense that one. Cool. Now we do have some footage of you doing the race dam rider yes. on PS3. Yeah. Now this is a BMX <laughs> race. This is it. Yeah. I mean they they, they put they they put in the description that you can do it on motorbikes or BMX and they kind of suggest trying both you get mm -hmm. a different different feel for the event uh, I did it on a BMX because they um, there aren't that many BMX races in there and it's always good to do something a bit different how did that go uh, not so well no it doesn't look like it <laughs> it was it was all right but um, my I have a bit of a confession to make Come on that I'm not entirely sure how to ride a bike <laughs> what in, in real life in, in, no not in real life but in in, in GTA 5 um, like I, so, if, if anyone in the comments can help me out, I mean, basically, I can hammer the the button to to pedal fast, yeah. but I never seem to be able to go as fast as the other riders. And there's also, as you see on the screen, there's a stamina bar which never seems to go down as I'm cycling along. All right. And I don't know whether maybe there's another button I should be pressing or something else I'll, I should be doing. I will help you out here. Oh yeah. Hopefully, this? some of the people in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But I think. Hammering the button is the wrong way to do it. Really? Yes. I oh, think no. the BMX bike works, from memory this is, I haven't done yeah. a BMX bike for a while, is it's much like the track and field games we used to play. It's it's a very rhythmic press. Oh, okay. So it's like, and then if you want to go faster, you do it faster and your stamina bar decreases and increases uh, depending on the, the speed right. of the rhythm of the pressing I of the button. See. It might be totally wrong, but okay. I'm pretty sure that's why yours would always be full. Because right, I'm just hammering, hammering it and, and yeah, that's why I'm not going as fast. So. Yes. So yeah, okay. So there you go. There's right. a little pro, pro tip. tip. There we go. Uh, but yeah, if any of you guys <laughs> do have any other suggestions or, or ways of winning BMX races, please put them in the comments below. Yeah. So. Uh, let's talk about the race NOE. Uh, while we're here, yeah, low flying yeah. route under bridges and low over the mountains. You say, yeah, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good one. Again, this it, it, it throws back to the the mission in San Andreas where you've got to fly the plane sort of below the radar yeah. and, and and skimming over the ground. Um, so yeah, lots of uh, low checkpoints. Uh, there's a few bridges you've got to fly under there. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, I actually did this race with um, Kisgrith from mm -hmm. our uh, five o'clock crew. Who as you might see in the video here has um, did quite a lot of stunt flying in the video and spent quite a lot of time actually flying upside down nice. in front of me as if to uh, <laughs> show his flying prowess. Although, if we if you maybe skip to the end, you might see that I actually overtook him on, on the final corner of the Excellent the race work. Uh, work. While, while they were still flying upside down. So that's uh, it's not always the best way to go. All right, great. Um, well, those are. I was going to say I was just going just to mention quickly the the other bike. Race that oh, I yes. did as well. The uh, race, race, uh, it's a Sweet and Kendall, mm. I think is the name of that by Gooch Theft Auto 95. Yeah, I know interesting, that. Guy. Interesting choice of name there. Um, so, yeah, this is another like bike race. Um, another one of your favourites. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Still still hammering the button on that one, as you'll <laughs> see. Um, but that's kind of a race through the through the city. Um, there's, there was a great bit where I forgot how to bunny hop bunny hop on the BMX and there's a bit where you actually jump off a bridge onto the freeway uh, which I didn't <laughs> fail, fail to do the oh, first time yeah. but um, but yeah I did manage to, to get back into it, it kind of goes through all the city goes down to the storm drains and then comes back up at the Grove Street uh, at the end um, and again with that one uh, Kisgrith helped me out quite a bit on the, the final turn um, he heroically ploughed his bike into the other person in the race. Nice. Uh, taking both of them out and letting me slip through oh, to, thank you very to win much. it. So yeah, that was, uh, all worked out alright for me in the end, or even, even though, with the button hammering. And the game seems to think you came third. And yeah, the game also thought that I came third, but I definitely won. You're promising <laughs> us that you definitely <laughs> oh, won. Oh yes. All right. Uh, well, if you've checked out any of those events and have anything to say about them, let us know in the comments below. And if you've got any of the jobs on Xbox 360 that you'd like to give a shout out to, let us know about them and we will definitely go and check them out. Uh, moving on to another bit of awards show news, mm. not related to us so much, 
this week, but actually GTA and more specifically GTA Online. It has been nominated for our very own Golden Joystick Awards. Yep. That's not just nine in the <laughs> That's uh, Future Publishings as a whole. Uh, it's up for Best Online Game. The voting has now closed. It closed last night at midnight, so I hope you all went and voted for your favourite game. Not yeah. saying which one it is, <laughs> listening to the GTA 5 o'clock yeah. show, but I could probably take a guess at which one you voted for. Yeah. You can watch the awards uh, live on Twitch at Twitch TV, twitch.tv forward slash Golden Joystick Awards at 3.40 p.m. BST on Friday, which is the 24th of October. Yep. Make sure you get along to go and watch that and find out which game won the best online game. There's also a whole host of other categories and The Witcher 3 opening cinematic mm. as a world exclusive will be shown during that live stream as well as some other amazing surprises along the way so you don't want to miss that so get along to twitch.tv forward slash golden joystick awards at 3 40 p.m bst we will put a link in the description so you can go along click follow on that channel and you will get told every time that channel starts streaming and i think the next time it'll be streaming is tomorrow at 11 a.m for some so for a look at the nominees of the ultimate game of the year and then the live stream of the actual show will be on Friday. Just one more thing before we go, Snapmatic competition. I know we've missed out on this for the last couple of weeks. I'm very sorry. Last week we got caught up in a whole rush of <laughs> making everything happen. Um, and the week before that, uh, yeah. I just think Dan forgot. Uh, so and there's definitely not loads of things happening right now as no, well to make it no, <laughs> nice and not. easy for us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we've only got time to pick the winner of the unexpected events um, competition. Yeah. That's what it was. The one, yeah. uh, so the winner is Exploding Squid, and here is his picture. It there is it a is. man. Oh dear, lying face <laughs> down on the golf course with a club right through his head. Yeah, something, something, something bad. And well, I assume unexpected for him at least. Has, well, has happened yeah, here. <laughs> I would have thought for anyone playing yeah. golf at that moment, yeah, this is definitely an unexpected event. Uh, so, congratulations to you, Exploding Squid. We won't put out another call for another theme just yet. We will wait until next week when we're back on track and the show is a bit longer yeah. and we've got a bit more structure to it. Hopefully, we'll bring back Challenge Dan as well. We have got much more coming up in the next few episodes. There's only three more until episode oh. 100. And the GTA 5 PS4 and Xbox One launch is only a few weeks away. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we could somehow combine those two things? That would be great, wouldn't it? It would be great. Uh, so look out for information on what we've got coming up uh, on Twitter at GTA V O'Clock and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA V O'Clock. Thank you again for sticking with us. Uh, you guys are amazing. We really appreciate all the support that you've given us. And we will be back next Wednesday at 5 p.m. GMT with Dan Dawkins yes. and maybe Ian as well. <laughs> maybe, as a special ooh, treat. That's maybe we'll yeah. all get in on yeah, it. Yeah, why not? Uh, so thanks again, guys. And we'll see you next Wednesday at 5 p.m.